Uh, hello. hello, my name hello. is. Uh, uh, okay. you hear me? Hello, hello, my name is Brave. Brave. In Thai, Thai Forum Station, it's going to be Brave. 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 Right. right. So today, today I'm, I'm, talking I'm talking about, about the blockchain, blockchain and, smart and smart contract, contract development, development by, by using, using Python. Python. Uh, but, uh, but, but, but first, let's, let's talk about my, my background first. first. And, and this thing, thing. Um, um, I am a, a machine learning engineer, engineer at, at HBTC. HBTC. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's gone, it's gone, gone, it's gone, gone bang. bang. And, and I, I got an interest at Sheffield University about data analytics. And in my working life, I mostly work with machine learning and data science. Until last year, I found that this was become the buzzword. We we might talk about cryptocurrency, like blockchain smart contract, and also maybe meta word that that Facebook uh, mentioned about, right? So I just curious that the those those words, how how do how I could I work with those words and as a Python developer, how can I you know, make make money for from it from them, right? So the step what I start uh, learning by myself on the on the YouTube by free course. It's really it it, it was really good course on the free course camp that I strongly recommend you to take a look. It's about fifteen hours, and after that I take more practice and find my find my own way to. Develop smart contracts and the last thank you. And I also accepted the my first free writing job about smart contract development. At that time, I, I did uh, develop the NFT platform on the product chain. And this is my overview of this interview, uh, of presentation. I will talk about the blockchain first for anyone who, who doesn't know how blockchain and smart contract are. And I will talk about the Python module called the Brownie with the, the Python module to, to interact with the blockchain, Ethereum chain, and smart contract. Uh, if I if I could, I'd show you my uh, demo project. So let's first talk about the the the, the blockchain and smart contract. You might heard about the blockchain, right? Ethereum, uh, Binance, or maybe Solana, and the, the, these three are. I mean, the, the blockchain uh, is an infrastructure of of uh, smart contracts, and also the smart contract is uh, the, the the backbone of the app. That is that for the right application, which is the application application that you use uh, from blockchain to work with. You may you may say that you might heard about the Ethereum chain, right? You may heard about the uh, by then. And for the app, you might heard about DeFi, which is a decentralized financial platform that uh, use, the, use the blockchain to work with. You might heard about the GameFi, you know, um, actually if it is on maybe NFT on OpenC. But you may not heard about the smart contract. There, there, there is no solid example for smart contract that it could be bigger for how it looks like. So the definition of smart contract is stuff like the computer program that run on the blockchain. Like you can imagine like you deploy an API on the cloud, but instead of de deploying an API, you deploy your smart contract into the blockchain infrastructure. And then uh, this right application will call and call and run those functions that uh, running on the on the blockchain that you have deployed, right? 
this is how it works for deploying a smart contract. Cool. So you will first you will you have a smart contract host. You will comply it with uh, the thing called Ethereum Virtual Machine. You will get uh, some the JSON JSON file for AVI, which is the interface that contains need to interact with. After that, you will you will deploy the facility that you compile into the blockchain, and blockchain you will return the contract address that define define that uh, where where the contacts are located. For the the Right application like Web3 on Gear 5 they need the need they need these two things to use the smart contract, it, which are API and contact address. It's really important. But for this diagram, you might find out that it's quite complicated and hard to implement by yourself, right? So there is uh, there, there are open sources that make the, these the, that like, say like that makes those diagram run much easier. For the Python, we we have the browsing. For the other, you, they will have the proper and hard hat. For JavaScript and the component on browser, we they will use a Remix. But today we will going to focus on the browsing already because these three these three are other languages. We gonna keep, keep we gonna we not we not going to give them an extension. So why we use browsing? First thing we know that browsing uh, is written on the Python. To use browsing, we just um, simply type pip, pip install Ethereum browsing, right? This one. One. And first, Brownie make make your in, make the interaction with your contact much easier. Even you are you you using the hard warrant on soft software warrant. For the software, you just like import your private key, and Brownie will secure your your private key into um, into the encryption. And you will use it very secure. Or even for the hardware wallet, Brownie provides an API to interact with your hardware wallet, which you with clear. But I never tried this one before, but I believe it's going to be good if you try. And to, to interact with the blockchain network, or if you do it manually, you you may find out that this could be very confusing because you have to find the uh, endpoint to connecting to connect with and and just find the how to say like set up thing a lot. But with with browsing, it can be a network adapter. You don't you don't need to write down any code. You just like make a config and you can connect to any network you want to, or maybe you might uh, run your own that blockchain network and you may, you can also import it into the browsing as well. For the smart contact, I, I will talk about in detail later, but Brownie will provide this thing called Ethereum Virtual Machine. After you run the Brownie compile, you will comply the smart contract without download, without like, without do anything manually, because like I say earlier, if you do it, you you just try it manually, it's going to be very hard and difficult. And also, if you are uh, finish your smart contact script, you can make right uh, deploy it into the blockchain, any blockchain you want to. But I really need to know that it's just only on the Ethereum ecosystem for now because because the Brownie have have been decided to work with Ethereum chain only. It, not not Ethereum chain. I mean, but we work with Ethereum 
uh, ecosystem. The, the chain that have, have um, um, ECM, ECM uh, ecosystem, ECM could be like ECM like itself, itself, on could be Binance, Binance on could be Polkadot chain. chain. That is, that is uh, there, there, there are a lot of chains, chains that, that work, work in the, in the Ethereum, Ethereum ecosystem. And, and the deploy script will be, look like this one. It, it is a code that I try to write for my own, my own project. You will see like, not only just deploy the contact. After I deploy the contact, I will update my front end as well that I want front end to interact with the contract which I just deployed. So the front end will consume my data very easily. Also, Bradley also provide the test environment because when we work with smart contract, it is necessary to have the test how say test situation test, test uh okay. unit testing right because we have to ensure before we deploy thing to the mainnet that our contact work correctly according to the user behavior. So probably we will provide you the the test config. This is we we do just we just use the probably and test at and if you run automatically. After that, if you decide, if you are decide to work with another model, it can be like we probably will provide a Python API as well. For example, if you have, if you want to create a game by using the Pi game, uh, you will you just read the Brownie document and check out how to import the the uh, lightweight and it will, it will be good to go. So let's talk about the project first. For the brownie, when once you want to create a new project, you just type the brownie in it and then brownie will run, will be generated the project structure, write this one. I just want you to focus on these five things. This is a five the things that important to have the contact deployments. Contract in contact in the contact five. It could be a language. Um, it could be the solidity on maybe wiper and because it's better and contact interface. It, this thing is quite um advancing, but but I, I'm not going to talk. But, Today, I'll kick it to later. And script is the thing that probably will run and deploy into the blockchain. And test is the, the test case that, that we, we want to ensure that our, our script runs correctly. And also some conflict. You may, you may, when you are working in the real situation, you may, my, uh, you may run on a testnet first before going to the mainnet. Because if you uh, go to go into the mainnet, it means like you you may need to lose some money even you just deploy a small contract. And for the running contract will will help you to support to be in the mainnet and test it very easily. About the smart contract code. I, I this thing I want to point out even if it is they are not a Python. There is two popular language code to run the smart contract. First thing is solidity. You will see like this one looks like looks like a C language. And another another language is a wider. Wider it is more look like Python. Yes, because it was built on Python. But if you are a starter for smart contact learner, I strongly recommend you to learn from this solidity first because uh, many, many material, material uh, many, many material, material and cases are, are written, written in, in the solidity. solidity. And, and there, are there are a lot of things, a lot, a lot more things, things to, to, 
to learn, to learn more on liquidity. liquidity. And, and you will, you will understand, understand how, how that smart contract work, work is easy, easier, easier than, than Wyvern. Wyvern. But, but and and after, you after you feel like your master, master, you understand, you understand how, how that smart contract, contract works, work, you can, you can just, just move to the, to the Wyvern, Wyvern letter. letter. Okay, okay, I will show, I will show you, you my demo project. project. But, but first, first I, will, I need to tell you that it's quite cheating because this project is uh, the coursework project, but you know, to, check, to, to show my client project is quite awkward. In this project is I create this project by running basis. You will see like okay. This project is about the this is right financial. I the first thing I did is to is to make a deployment split, and after I make a deploy script to the Ethereum chain, the Ethereum chain will provide back over the contract address and also the contract API. So on the front end, I I. I, I, want, I, I wrote it in the React, React TypeScript, but it's okay. I'm not going to be initial about it. You will see, like, in this project, it me, I'm going to deposit them, my cryptocurrency into a platform. So, platform me use my, my money that I deposited to make some invest on some revenue. And after they make profit, they may they may share they may share some share them on dividend. So if I tap, if I want to deposit like zero zero five Ethereum, I I hit play. And uh, the mark will coming out and I will hit confirm. And this process we calling mining. It is still working on it mean like a blockchain are working. See and this we show like the the my transaction has been approved. So it means that we are we are already staking into this platform. Let so let's see on the ether scan. Right. This means like uh, our transaction transaction is successful. And all right, this uh, my demonstration on. Uh, a bit of project, uh, blockchain project, and yeah, thank you. So, do you have any question? Good question. good question. You are, you are asking, asking that, that um, do, 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 do I need to spend the Ethereum? Yeah. Actually, Actually, I don't. I don't, I, I don't, I don't spend, spend any real money, money because, because we, we for the test environment, we, 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 we have the thing, thing called, called test net. net. This, this, in this test net, net is the, 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 the blockchain, blockchain environment, environment that the same as the real Environment. But, but the thing, the thing is, is you, you can generate any Ethereum, Ethereum in this network. network. So it, it mirrors the actual um, current price of Ethereum. Yeah. yeah. Or, 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 or almost, almost the same. The same. Okay. Yes. yes. I, I want to show, you, show this you this one. If you, if you, if you, if you see, see on, on the, the, the mind map, 
If you, if you, uh, it, 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 it costs some other, other, but, but, but if you, if you see, see this, my metamask, I'm, I'm not connected connect to the Ethereum minute. minute. I'm connected to the test and call for and, and, and in this, in this network, network, I can't can can generate any, any Ethereum that at mass that I want to make a test and run it. Any more questions? Yes. In the part of your presentation, you mentioned uh, the ability to do some tests to, on, on the smart contract before you deploy it mm -hmm. into the mainnet or to the testnet. Can you talk a little bit more about how those tests are run? Are they run locally on, on the machine or are they run on the testnet? Yeah. yeah. You are, you are asking about, about how, how do I, I make, run, run the test, test, right? right? That, uh, that um, actually, actually I, I can, can run, run two ways for, for testing. testing. I, I, first, first I, I, I may fork the, the main net to, be, to, be, to, to, to run, run my, my, my own network. This, this could, could be, be like, like um, um, I can't can get, get any the same, same address, address, contact address for the, the minute. minute. But, but it might be not really safe. And, and also, also it's thing, thing that, that I, I make a test, 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 I use I a use test, test network. network. So, so I, want I want to show you. Let me show, Let me show you. you. I'm going to test on my local. The, the code will be run on my local machine. Okay. On this test, I. Can you zoom in? Can you zoom in a little bit? Can you How can I? Uh, command. What? Command. Yeah, control. Command. Control. Okay, control. Oh, doesn't work. Okay. Yeah. Maybe a little bit bigger. Okay. <laughs> on on this test running, I run it on my 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 own network as well. So this one I don't connect to the Ethereum test net. I just run on my. Uh, that is the, you can have the your own network. You using the tool called Anash. And I just op I just open my own network and run the test it, but. Anyway, you can test what we, with this command as well. I hope it's going to be work. It means like we are connected to the whole van testnet. It might take some time because like in the interactive uh, blockchain, yeah, there, there, there is a lot of there, there is some delay that we need to wait for it. So did I answer your question for now? Yes, thank you. Thank you. So any more questions for audience or maybe online? No? Okay. Okay. Yes. This is a conceptual question. Uh, maybe you you probably know better than me, but uh, when you write a smart contract and you deploy it to the real one, mm -hmm. does that mean that the real Ethereum network has thousands or millions of programs that just get every, every loop? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. This, this, when, when we, we, uh, uh, when, when, when we deploy, deploy our, our code, code will be, will be on, the, on, the on, the on the blockchain, on the, on the blockchain, yes. yes. We be running run. and, and almost like every cycle, the same program runs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. And, and I, I want, want to know that, that after we deploy our program, program is cannot, cannot be 
the delete is to be stay on the blockchain forever, as long as Ethereum is still there. So even if the smart contract doesn't produce or like make any transactions, mm -hmm. it'll still be run. Yeah, yeah. It'll still, it'll, it'll just it still be that. Be no, not necessarily running, it'll be there. Just be just that. Be that. It's only running when you call it. Yes, yes exactly. exactly. You, wait, you're supposed to call your contract when? No, 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 no but it's a transaction. Someone, if somebody, if somebody else happens to be calling your contract, then it's running. It's like a function of it. It's like oh, you have the address. When you compile it, you have an address. Yes. yes. So, so you, you have to speak about, about the API. 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 API, 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 just, just to make it clear, the brownie is doing the scaffolding and test and everything like that. But when you actually write the contract, it's in Solidity or Viber, right? Like you can't write it in Python itself. No, so you, we, we cannot, cannot run, run on Python, Python, Python because, because the smart, smart, uh, the the smart contract, contract will be compliant with the, the Ethereum machine. machine. That, 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 that it will be strictly written, written on, on the uh, language, language that, that they, they specify. specify. And how similar is that Viper language to Python? It looks very similar. Let's, Let's show, you. show you. On 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 a, on a, pre on a presentation, on a presentation, I show, I show you the white language, language for, for white white right right. right. Yeah. On the white basically we cannot run like a Python and uh, Python. Python and my name, no, we cannot do that. And for it's <coughs> the difference between these two languages. Yeah? And this one is to play very safe language. And this one is to play Python because it was written on Python. Mm -hmm. And to comply this one, you need to use uh, Browning. Well, Browning comply. So Browning will run the, we start the virtual machine first. And then we compile it into the uh, binary, binary, and then we they will they send, will send the, binary the binary to the blockchain, to the blockchain. And, and then, then we, we, we cannot call, call those, those binary, binary by, by using the using address, address and the API. API. Okay, okay, any more questions? More questions? So, I, I, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so uh, if you've got any more um, questions, then grab them after. Um, we'll stick around, stick around here for two more minutes, and then we're going to head to the pub, which is the Irish one on uh, um, Soy 33 slash one that I can never remember the name of. O'Shea? O'Shea. O'Shea, yeah, okay. We'll go to that one. Uh, yeah, it's changed names. So. That's the new name. It used to be Hannigan. That doesn't Hannigan. Parody. Parody. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so that's it. Um, we will should be back to the regular time, I guess, uh, as on the second Thursday. Although I got to look at. I think May has some holidays as well, right? So I got to have a look at that and see where we're at. Um, but again, if anyone wants to give a talk, um, come and grab me uh, after and have a chat. Um, so thanks everyone for coming. Okay.